Fragile X syndrome is a genetic disorder characterized by intellectual disabilities and a delayed speech or motor development, but also physical characteristics such as a long face and prominent ears and jaw. This syndrome does not shorten lifespan. To understand how this works, you need to know a little bit about DNA. There are four nucleotide bases called adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine, which make up our DNA. They pair with each other to form the helix shape of DNA, so adenine with thymine and guanine with cytosine. Next is chromosomes. Chromosomes are found in the nucleus of every cell in our body, and they carry DNA. Biological females have two X chromosomes, while biological males have an X chromosome and a Y chromosome. This is important. A gene is a portion of DNA on a chromosome, with instructions for making a product, such as a protein. There is a gene called FMR1, which everyone has, but for people with Fragile X syndrome, they have a genetic mutation with this gene. Typically, people will have 5 to 44 triplet repeats of CGG, or cytosine, guanine, and guanine. But when people have more than 200 triplet repeats of CGG, the FMR1 gene basically turns off so it can't produce the protein it's supposed to, which is called FMRP. This is essentially what causes Fragile X Syndrome. People with Fragile X Syndrome may also be diagnosed with Autism Spectrum Disorder, ADHD, or seizure disorders. This is because of the intellectual disability that comes with Fragile X Syndrome. But the lack of the FMRP protein also leads to a susceptibility to seizure disorders, such as epilepsy. Fragile X Syndrome affects about 1 in 7,000 males and about 1 in 11,000 females, but its symptoms are greater in males. This is because the genetic mutation occurs on the X chromosome, which if you remember, females have two X chromosomes, so they have another chromosome that can kind of compensate for the other. However, males only have one X chromosome, so they have more prominent symptoms. Since this is also a genetic mutation, it can be passed down. But what's interesting about the syndrome is that the number of repeats will increase if passed down to the next generation. Therefore, in the next generations, its symptoms will be greater. To diagnose this, doctors will take a blood test in order to examine the CGG repeats in the DNA. And there is no cure for this syndrome, but treatments target specific symptoms that a person displays. For example, behavioral therapy for learning how to walk, or educational therapy for intellectual disabilities.